Ferrari made by Tully. Oscar Robinson, who's our leader, we can see him coming up through now. And Robinson may well actually be scratching here. So Hatfield, we can see there. So Hatfield at this stage is our leader. Hatfield is the one coming through with seven laps to go. Not too far away there is Chris Dale. So Chris Dale ran the number 12 there. And we have Thomas Thorpe, a young man on the rise. We go back to Adam Spencer. So Spencer's in fourth at this stage. So a few of our front markers all wearing the grey colours here. Now coming to the home stretch, we see the purple of Adam Spencer. So Spencer's there. And Joel Tobin White. Now coming through is Geordie Williams. So Geordie Williams, certainly one to watch. Look at Gregson go. So Gregson, the four Australian record holder, over 1,500 in the green, starting to make his move there, Gregson. Raiders not too far away with McNeil and the Blue of Robinson. And there's McSwain. Give him a big cheer as McSwain goes past with seven laps to go. So down the back they go, and we've got a new leader now in Thomas Thorpe. So Thorpe is our leader at this stage of the race. Hatfield's not far away. Spencer starts to come in there with them. And uh, moving nicely here is Joy Hatfield. So Hatfield out in front of very Sports a lovely mullet here, trained by our very own uh, coming through there. So Hatfield with a nice lead, Hatfield ahead. Second spot at this stage of the race is Thomas Thorpe. On his shoulder there is Chris Dale and Adam Spencer. So those three working together in tandem at this stage of the race. We go back then as we see, coming from the back, starting to move through. Making a nice move there is Joel Tobin White. So Tobin White, one to watch. Jordy Williams, what a season he's having. And now starting to make his move is Britt Robinson. We saw him victorious there in Parkdale. So Robinson, certainly one to watch. McNeil on his shoulder. And the yellow there, Rainer Gregson, followed by Ramson. And there's Mick Swain on scratch. So Mick Swain there, certainly one to watch. So they've completed almost the first three laps of this AIA Vitality and uh, Jai Hatfield doing a pretty good job out in front at the moment. Leads a group of three in there over on the far side, leaving the back with the Dale leading that little division over there. So a Dale in seconds and also Thorpe, they're working together that trio. And they are tracked all the while coming into the home straight uh, in uh, that group of three. By uh, just on their tail, not far away at all, is Adam Spencer. So Dale Thorpe and Spencer, they're trying to work together to get to this leader in Joy Hatfield, who came off the 310 metres and a couple of grey vests behind those in the bucking of it, also Tobin White. Now we're looking for the coloured group and it's starting to make up some ground, as Sir Holly mentioned. Is uh, Ryan Gregson just on the hammer of tack there of Brett Robinson, and they're racing together at the moment. And also Williams just ahead of those. And at this point, McSwain still with a little bit of a task to uh, chase down Ramsden in front of him. <laughs> but still out in front is Hatfield. Hatfield holding his form pretty well here. He's about to complete the first uh, four laps and heads towards the halfway mark of this AIA Vitality Invitation $6,500 contest. This trio working together behind him in Dale Thorpe and also Spencer. And then the next group of Nike Gray, Buckingham and Tobin White working together to try and stave off the next group. But we're under four laps to go. Ollie can bring him at their home. Jai Hatfield is still the leader and McSwain is starting to pick up a little now on the white. So perhaps about to kick in the gear, but they're grouping up at midway. So thank you, Matt. Jai Hatfield, our leader. So Jai trained by Aston McDonald and Jai had a front with a, with a fair lead at this stage. So Spencer and Dale miss some work to do, but they are working together. So we go back then, Mr. Gatlin, the pink running a nice race, McNeil. PB just weeks ago, so McNeil travels very well. And Robinson, we saw victorious in the 3200 meter race at Parkdale, which was a superb finish. We had Robinson, Gregson, and McSway all going hammer and tong. So, some real stars of the Nick Bonneau crew, as we see going up there, is Dave McNeil. Right out in front, he's still going to get to join Hatfield. So, Hatfield, with a fair lead this day, he's the one who's going to try and slip them here. And he's got three laps to go for Aston McDonald's. So McDonald's in the lead from Spencer, but here comes 
Thomas Thorpe. So Thorpe is now in the second. Thorpe in the second ahead of Spencer. And not too far off is Dale. Now we see Dave McNeil, been a mainstay of Victorian Athletics and Australian Athletics for many years. So McNeil's ahead of Robinson on his outside there. Running a great race is Rayner. We have the two greys. Look at Mick Sway now. in the career of Stuart McSwain. Out in front though is Jai Hatfield. So Hatfield leading at this stage. And still with some work to do is Thomas Thorpe with Spencer. Not far off him and Dale. So Spencer and Thorpe with a fair bit of work to do. As we go back to the group there. Led down by Brett Robinson, our winner at Parkdale at 3200. So he's got a good taste here for professional running, Brett Robinson. And on his shoulder there is Rainer. And McNeil is also like a good pride ride, getting better with age. Now keep an eye on Mick Swain, who's starting to wind up. But our leader, Hatfield, has got two laps to go. So it's Hatfield ahead of Thomas Thorpe. In third, Adam Spencer. Then we have in four, moving nicely, Dale. Then comes Robinson, Rayner. And not far off them is John Tobin White. McNeil is there. Look at Mick Swain go. He's just done to pick them off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a big roar for Stuart McSwain. We want to see the back marker storming home late. Out in front though, Jai Hadfield. He's been out of the all on his own for a long way here. What's he got left in the tank? It's Jai Hadfield in the lead. So Hadfield ahead of young Thomas Thorpe. Works the Melbourne Wine Store in Melbourne. He's in second spot. We go back then to Spencer. Spencer starting to feel the pinch a bit perhaps. Alongside him is Chris Dale. Robinson moves well with Rayner. And look at Mick Swain, ladies and gentlemen, he's starting to wind up. Still in front, though, is Jai Hatfield. He's going to lead all the way. That's the big day the coach. Off Jai Hatfield, he's starting to get a big ball this year. Out in front, it's Hatfield. He gets the bell in the 8-I-8 by Talent 2. Out in 200, it's Hatfield. Ahead of, in second spot, Thorpe. Now in third, 